On the last day of the year in 2008, the 37-year-old woman is having a shower and begins to feel ill. She continues to wash her hair but has to open the shower screen for air. She then starts to sweat and the ears begin to ring, so she sits down on the shower floor with her head out the screen door for air. Shivering, even though the water is warm, she begins to wonder what is going on. She gets up again and begins to wash the shampoo from her hair, but the ringing in her ears turns into a rushing sound, and her eyesight begins to go starry and fades. She feels trouble in her lower stomach, as if it is losing control and the sickness, nausea and cold sweats become so intense that she cannot stay standing, so she huddles on the shower floor with the water still running. She turns off the water, wondering if the steam was the problem, but the water is not that hot. She crawls out of the shower and sits down on the bath mat and starts to feel worse and her eyesight turns dark. Her hearing turns into a tunnel of rushing and swirling and her other senses start to dissolve. Am I dying? She wonders. Normally this would be terrifying, but she knows that if she dies, she will get to meet her saviour, Jesus Christ. Even so, the thought of being face to face with God, her creator, is both awesome and terrifying at the same time, so she starts to pray. I pray to you, Lord God, Jesus Christ, my Heavenly Father. I don't know what it is that's happening to me right now, but I feel like my physical life is passing before me. I know if I do die here, I'll get to meet you and be in your kingdom because of my faith in you and the blood of your sacrifice for our eternal salvation. But I can't, but, I can, but all I can think about is the fruits of my work. Have I done all that I can? Have I done all that I can by truth putting you first? All the time. Lord, you've given me a task and I've not yet completed it. I could have done so much more. I pray that you may forgive me for not giving this everything I have by putting you first in every aspect of my life. I ask myself, have I been an effective witness? Effective enough for so that even one person has been brought to you in salvation as a result. Father, it is my only desire that you and your angels may rejoice as a result of even one person being saved through the effectiveness of your work through me as your humble and effective servant. I pray that you may bring me through this so that I might so I can have another chance to work tirelessly with joy and the power of your Holy Spirit working through me in all that I do. I don't want to waste another minute with trivial things. I thank and praise you, all-powerful and ever-living Father.